Hello and welcome back to episode 94 of my St. Albans FC Take to the Skies save. We are approaching the end of the season. We've got about 11 games to go and we found ourselves in a very good position as we head into this final stretch. So in the last episode, we lost to Man City and Brentford. However, we bounced back very nicely through February with a 2-1 win against Bournemouth, despite a red card for Jack Hoyle. We then had a 3-1 win against Hull City with Bernard Danello getting a hat-trick. We then got a win against Preston with Harvey Flint getting the goal. And a 1-1 draw with Portsmouth, which was a little bit disappointing because of their position, we should be beating them. But then we beat... Reading 2-0, and most recently we drew 0-0 with Fulham, which again, they're prob they're, I think they're a better team than their league position shows. Today we've got Swansea, a team who we have struggled a lot against in the last few years, and also Rotherham in the in the away game. As you can see, against Swansea, we haven't beat them since 2030. Our first ever game against them, we beat them since then. We've just lost over and over again. Although only by one goal in all but one of those cases. So hopefully we can turn that around today. In the league, we're sat in sixth place. No games in hand other than for Villa, which are who are above us, so not really relevant. Bournemouth are looking good for the title. But we're very much in this battle. We could even end up in the battle for automatic promotion at the moment. We're only four points away from that. But most importantly, we need to try and stay away from Sheffield United, Swansea and Crystal Palace who are following us. Obviously, we're not going to drop any further than ninth at the most. So this game against Swansea is massive because a win against them means we go four points clear of them. It And, you know, puts us in a really strong position to not be affected by them too much, hopefully. Just before we do get into that, if you are enjoying the content on the channel, please do leave a like. Comment how excited you are for FM22 coming soon. And please do subscribe if you're enjoying the content as well. The lineup for the game against Swansea we've got Zarapov in goal, a back three of Kibonu, Phillips, and Stevens. Sidibe is the holding midfielder with Barrow, Walsh, Thorne, and Hoyle in front of him. And then we've got Bernard Dinello and Bennett as the front two. So hopefully, with this lineup, we can finally get a win against. Swansea again. We've got a highlight straight from kickoff here. Phillips goes long over the top, finds Bernardinello, and he doesn't manage to get it past the keeper, and it's sent out for a throw in. And at half time, it's nil nil. It's been a very boring first half, and there's not really been anything to go over. Um, it's just been very even, 50 50, but no highlights other than the one in the first minute. Early on in the second half, we've got a throw in on the left. Barrow gets it to Hoyle. Plays it back to Barrow. He's cutting it on his right foot. Gets a shot off, but Kaplan makes a good save. Kaplan with a goal kick for Swansea. Kubanu heads it back to Zaripov. Plays it nice and easy out to Stevens. Sidibe sends it out to Fawn. What can he do with it? Goes back to Sidibe, taking our time here. Poor ball forward, but Fawn... Collects the clearance. Sidibe back to Walsh. Forward to Barrow. Back to Walsh. Who goes over the top. Finds Hoyle. Oh and that really should have been a goal. But it's cleared away. Hoyle collects it. And then runs it out of play. Okay. So we're going to make a change here. With Bernard Dinello coming off for Flint. Who's not really got going. We're going to swap him and Bennett over as well. And we'll also send Higgins on for Barrow on the right wing. Ten minutes to go. We've got a highlight. Here, starting with Zarapov in our own area. Hoping to keep the ball here. He plays it short to Stevens, who then goes long. Hoyle collects it, plays it to Flint. He's got a great chance here. He gets a shot, but it's blocked. And then as it's blocked, it falls through to Kaplan. So at home to Swansea, we've drawn 0-0. We probably had the better of the chances in the end. We had that early chance and then another chance for Flint. And to be fair, Hoyle as well had a good chance. But they kind of all took it a bit too close to the keeper before having a shot. Disappointing in the end, 
but a draw isn't the worst result against a team that you're battling the playoffs for. However, it does mean with Crystal Palace's win, we drop out of the top six at the moment. But hopefully we can drop, bounce back with a win against Rotherham and head back into that top six. Just one change, heading into the game against Rotherham with Higgins coming in on the right wing. Everyone else remains the same. So an early goal kick for Rotherham here as it goes long towards Loberg. Oh, and there's a missed tackle from Stevens and it's shot into the side netting and we've got away with that there. Another goal kick for Rotherham here. He goes long again, this time more towards Taylor. Stevens has been beaten in the air again. Loberg in space and he's hit the post and then Stevens is forced to clear it away. Thrown on the right-hand side as McCullum finds West. Goes back to Uwusu. Forward to McCallum and back to Uwusu again. Ball across the field here and it's striked against the bar by Gerhardt and we are getting away with it at the minute. Free, uh, corner hit kick here. Phillips heads it away. Gerhardt has collected it though. Sadibe has dived in and given away a penalty. This is the game that I said we should be doing well in. We've been on the back foot in every highlight and now we've handed a penalty to them. And we're losing. To a team that are in a relegation battle. We're losing so easily. We've not got going in this game at all at the moment. And it is absolutely showing. Free, uh, throw in here. Hoyle's nodded it on, but Carvalho has come out and collected it. I'm hoping we get some sort of counter-attack from the goal kick from Carvalho. But I get the feeling well, that's not going to happen. Loberg's on it again. Plays it back to Uwusu. And he goes back to Pennant. Ball over the top, which Kubanu deals with well. Higgins gets it to Bernadello. He goes back to Kubanu. And he's going to take a bit of time. Gets the ball forward to Bennett, who heads down to Walsh. Forward to Higgins. Can he get this bit of space down the right-hand side here? He's gone down in the box. And we now have a penalty. Bennett's going to step up to take the penalty for us. Hopefully, he can find the back of the net just like Rotherham did. And he does just about. He's very nearly saved by the keeper. But we're back on level terms. 100 goals for Bennett. Congratulations, Edward Bennett. Might be the first player we've had do that. That month, Devani probably has. Half time, we're drawing 1 1 with Rotherham. We're definitely going to tell them we need to see better in the second half because that first half has been really poor for us. Loberg with a free kick for Rotherham. Swan's got to it and heads it over the bar, and that's a big chance. There's another free kick from a little bit deeper than shooting range, I'd say. Loberg. Goes for goal anyway, and Zarapov has punched it away for a corner. He should be saving that and holding it, if I'm being completely honest. Corner, though. White is going to send in. Goes into the middle. Hoyle lumps it away. So again, we're going to make a similar change. Flint coming on for Bernadello, and then swapping the strikers over. And we're also going to send Maloney on for Fawn, just to try and get a bit more control in midfield. Corner kick for St. Albans here. Higgins into the near post and Daniel Phillips, who's returned to the team recently, heads it into the back of the net. We lead 2-1. I'm not entirely sure we deserve this, especially with the first half chances Rotherham had. But Phillips has beaten the keeper to it and we lead. Just over five minutes to go now. We're going to bring Bennett off uh, for Walsh and then Brown can go into midfield. Walsh can go and be a ball winner. In the defensive mid slot. Late throw in for Rotherham here. It's sent into the box. Phillips has missed ahead. Zarapov has pulled off an amazing save. However, Rotherham have now got a corner. Which we need to get cleared away as quickly as possible. Loberg towards the far post. Oh dear, that's a poor header. And Hoyle closes it down well. And then clears it away. Flint has collected it. Can we get a counter attack here? Flint's got no one with him. And he's tackled by Taylor. We've done enough. Come away with a 2-1 win, however. Well done to them for turning that around. It wasn't the prettiest of results, but we're grinding out a win at an important time of the season and sends us back into the top six, although Crystal Palace have yet to play. So, we are going to be back for Aston Villa and Sunderland at the end of the season, where hopefully we secure a playoff spot. If it looks like that we can do it just before, we'll probably come back for where we can secure it. We'll, uh, we'll play it by ear, though. 
If you have enjoyed that, please do leave a like. Comment, do you think we can secure that playoff spot? Subscribe if you're enjoying the series. Thank you very much for watching.